family bunches, that's the bunch of two pound each. That's two bunches of two pound each. Now I'm going to dice the same celery stalks. of celery stock. These are very good in size. Okay, that will be enough. And uh, I'm going to use this time the red onions. Because they are easy, they are sweet. They go well with every type of vegetables. If you don't want overcooked vegetables, you use the red onions. I'm going them to cut I want them half more. vegetables, uh, carrots, celery and red onions. I'm going to grate the ginger because this is a ginger peel. Okay. I use this grater. It is very convenient. Again, you can find it in any of the supermarkets. This is those supermarkets. Okay. First and done. That is our this, this is our grated ginger. It is almost mm, one tablespoon. Now here I have oil. I have two tablespoons of oil. I'm going to add on onions, then ginger. Then the flavor will come out so this is my red onions. You see they are changing color. There's a difference between this red onions and the white onions. This one changed color from purple and they go to the next light purple. So now that is there and then we add on the ginger. So take for a few minutes, you can smell the aroma from the ginger and the onions, which is really very good. Add in the colors. You don't all want to overcook any of these vegetables. Because they are vegetables, they taste better when they have still the crunch, especially the colors inside. But it's, you can oh, you can cook it, it depends how you want it. Some people want it really very soft. It is a mixture which is very good, it smells good. Because you have already salt in the, you have added salt already in the raffin, you don't need to add salt here. Either black pepper, we want you to have their, their own flavors, their vegetables, you don't have to add it too much. Okay. Now, this, you look at this, this is so colorful, this is already sauteed, a little bit sauteed of oil, of onions, ginger, carrots, and celery. Now I'm going to add in the rapine. You add in the rapine, try to mix it together, although it looks hard, but it will happen. Oh, 
and then you, know, you, you put it in and let it cook just for three to four minutes, not too long, not too long, three to four minutes. Oh my god. I think the pan was small. So that is ginger wrapping. Okay, this is our finishing touch now. We finish the wrapping, the ginger wrapping, we finish the fish, uh, the beef, beef short ribs. Uh, this is how they come out they were in the oven. I just took them out. If you see that you have extra fat, always skim them off and put it in the garbage, like this one. I have extra skim, you skim it off and throw it away. So this is the this is the short ribs. You can garnish it with the parsley. And here we have the, the banana. This is the cooking banana mashed. The cooking banana mash, they come up like that, brown. And then we, start, we are going to serve them. This is how they are served. This is the, the cooked banana, mashed banana steam. They are very high in fiber and so many vitamins in it. Get a scoop. Don't take it away from, this, from the steamer because when you take it away, it hardens up. Take enough what you need, cover it, leave it there. And then we get, we are going to get a we are going to get a short rib. A short rib. And then we are going to get the, the ginger vegetables. So it's like that. Make sure our plate is clean and neat, you present you know? So try to wipe all this with So this is what we have, cooking banana, mashed cooking banana, steamed, short rib beef, burgundy cooked in wine and the tomato sauce, and ginger rapini with the carrots and celery. Thank you very much for being with me. Next time I'm going to cook sumbusa, the vegetarian and the meat one. Thank you for joining Senga in Canada.